Hello everyone and welcome to week number 5 of the 2017 season of the Emerald Madden League here. Madden NFL 15 for the Xbox One on the Ion Game Corner. I am Al Basler and I am getting set for a matchup against Jeremy's Seahawks. Yeah, send him the invite. This is, as you can see, I'm sitting at 0-4. So we can officially... Um, make the understatement that this season is not going well. <laughs> it's not about to turn around anytime soon because Jeremy is one of the better players in the league, so this could get ugly quickly. So we should be good to go here. He said he's all set, so just see, wait for him to accept the invite. Last couple games have been really rough. Um, got blown out by the Ravens, and then I lost uh, to the Colts, I think, 21 to nothing. So, offense has been quite the struggle. So, while we're waiting, nope, we got him here. Oh, I didn't make an Xbox party, so I apologize, Jeremy, if you hear everything I say. So while we're waiting on Jeremy to sync up here, um, we'll just remind everyone that, <coughs> excuse me, if you're interested in an online connected franchise for Madden NFL 15, head on over to IonGameCorner.com. On the right hand side of the page there, you'll see the link for the Madden 15 page. Click that and it'll give you the page that has, oops. Now it's telling me my game is ready to begin. Let's try this. All right, there we go. So like I was saying, uh, if you're interested in joining a league online for Madden NFL 15, IonGameCorner.com is where you want to go. The Madden 15 page on the right hand side will give you all of the rules, info, teams that are taken for both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 leagues. If you're interested in joining the Xbox One league, you want to contact me. My gamer tag on Xbox Live is Aretheus. And you can also reach me via email, IonGameCorner at gmail.com or on Twitter at Ion Game Corner. For the PlayStation 4 League, Nick is the man to speak to. You can reach him on PlayStation Network. Kagon is his handle there. And you can also reach him on Twitter at NickOlivera87. So we're week five here of this season. I think we've got one more season in us before Madden 16. Oh, it's raining. It's raining in Seattle. How stereotypical. And the rain is really coming down here. Maybe this will slow down his offense. I highly doubt that. You know, I'm certainly not going to slow down his offense. These conditions, the rain, how much will it affect the play here? You don't mind rain, Jim. You can throw and catch in the rain. But when it's raining this hard, there is nothing you can do to these footballs. They are going to be hard to handle, heavy, slick. There is going to be some And that is not how we want to start this. <laughs> Welcome to this season like in a one play nutshell. They come to the line of scrimmage and an excellent starting point. Russell Wilson has it under center. Jeremy's <laughs> apologizing to me on Facebook. Mark Ingram carries the football. And that'll gain just a few yards. Here's the Seahawks offense. There they are. Top five when it comes to throwing the football in the NFL this season. And now 
So you're not going to hear the usual strategy from me, obviously, because I don't know if Jeremy can hear what I'm saying. So, And just like that. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The Seahawks. Yeah, me playing from behind is usually not a good thing. So, me playing from behind within the first minute of the game, really bad news. <laughs> it's good. Let's see if we can have a kickoff return where we don't fumble. The yard in, I should probably take the touchback. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. And Matthews is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. They'll run it off the toss. He's tackled at the 28. Here's our look at the Jaguars lineup. Surprisingly, their passing attack this year has been rather disastrous. The Jaguars at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Oh, that was almost bad news. <laughs> Here's a look at the Seahawks defense. They never got to the quarterback once last week. Matthews lined up in the backfield. Has Jackson. Did I get the first? Nope, they're celebrating. Good job by the defense. I hate doing this, but I have to. By the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. The Jaguars come out. Jumbo package on the field. Oh, he was offsides. He was totally offsides. <laughs> oh, really thought I was going to get stopped there. It gives them an emotional lift. And look at the defense. They are down because they gave it up. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. The Jaguars have it at the 34. Wow. <laughs> How do you get three guys right on your running back as he's getting the handoff? Now the defense is in a good situation. After running it, it's, it's unbelievable. Down. The Seahawks come out in a dime package. Trying to work that left side. Wow, what a terrible pass by Bortles. Completely behind the receiver. Wagner's such an impressive athlete. We know we can tackle the game. But how about that in the pass game? Defending the pass and picking it off. Good job. It's first down as they head to the line. Wilson with the give. Breaks free. As 12 on this play. Ingram's going to be tired after this run. That is a good long run. The offensive line was terrific. And he does a good job finding a hole and picking up those yards. Midway through the first. Handoff up the middle. And Ingram's tackled down at the 17. Here's the Jaguars' defensive lineup. One of the best teams in the league this year against opposing quarterbacks. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second down and six. Wow, I ran totally right by him. <laughs> Didn't expect to get through that quickly. When you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on to that lead with a touchdown. It's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient, or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Jags are ready to return the kick.
Shorts got it on the return. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. First down here. The Seahawks set at the line. Dime Hackett. Matthews. Taken down at the 21. The offensive line is so bad. The Jaguars <laughs> come to the line. Of course, plenty of pink on the field today and in the stands as all of October will be seeing this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Very nearly intercepted. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have guys fallen. The they got they quarterbacks making ball. terrible throws. The time to drop, and this time, that was a bad drop. Bad ball. news game right here. The Seahawks defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Wide receivers are bunched up. Third down and 11. Wow. Underneath and incomplete that time. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all is, uh, receivers all over the field. Pretty don't bad. Pretty bad football right here. In an oh, I hate that stupid. I don't know why they do that. They in the multiplayer games, the meter goes slower than it does when you play in the computer. Down at the 43-yard line. Well, that time he only gets a couple yards, and if I'd have been the punt returner that time, I would have called for a fair catch. Defense was close. All around you, there was nowhere to go. The Seahawks take it from the 43. Out and it was Russell right. Wilson. And there's the option play. <laughs> Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Why would we be able to stop we anything? They can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football, too. First and 10. Yeah, it's wide open. This is just. Are you serious? You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seating. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. The Jaguars are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. Short's going to test the coverage here. The tackles made right around the 25 yard line. First down on the way. Matthews takes his spot in the backfield. Will run it. Here's the Why is he going inside? That's a counter play to the outside. In a hurry and will bring him down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Second down following the run. The defense comes out of the dime. Bortle still got it on the play action. Makes the catch. He's tackled. Right wow, a completed 31. pass. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. Seriously, like why did he wait so long to throw that ball? I don't know why I don't know why I even bother. Not only do they do that, they return it a long way for the touchdown. And the point after is good. The Jags you, are you press the button and then the it takes them another three seconds to release the ball. Gives the guy time to come from 20 yards downfield and accept the pass. Short's going to test the coverage this time. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. First down here. I should just run the clock out for the rest of the game because there's no point in me even trying to come back here. On this play. And the carry to Ryan Matthews. And Matthews is brought down.
The Jaguars still driving as the second quarter gets underway. That leads us to second down. They come out in the dime package. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The ball is jarred loose. Brought to a halt. <laughs> One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're Please. able to get on top of it. First down at the 30. Keeps it here. Are oh, you serious? I thought that was going to be a completion that time, but the hit knocked the ball out. Well, let me say this about your thought. You were wrong. Once again, Jim Nance, and the timing was wonderful. That's what it is. That's what it takes, just like you and your job. It's all about timing. Good timing by the defender that time. It's third down coming up. The Seahawks with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Portal standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. No separation at all. Incomplete. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. favorable bounce this time as it's headed to the end zone for a touchback the Seahawks are set now for their next possession offense lines up here first down at the 20 strong eye handoff here Oslozny's the one who brings them to the ground the Seahawks offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. First down at the 33. The run it with Mark Ingram. And they knock him down just a yard away from the first. Second down and two to go after the running play. Wilson. Comes out in the pistol. Heaving it down the field. And they can't connect. That was a nice the way this game is going, defense. it's amazing that that wasn't the completed. Downfield throw, the defensive back in good position results in the incompletion. Third down coming up. They're hoping to do a better job converting today than they did last week. Russell Wilson has it under center. Keeps it here. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> if he got out of that rim for a first down, I would. Oh, I think I would have just quit playing that. But the good thing is, he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. He thinks twice about returning this one and signals fair catch. They face first down. Two tight ends on the field here. Ryan Matthews takes the handoff. That's a gain of seven. The great thing about the draw play, just for a split second, the defense thinks it's passed. Now they're reacting instead of attacking and allows you to get a few extra yards. And Matthews is lined up in a single back formation. The old oh my god, my two play. <laughs> my two pulling linemen ran right by the guy that they needed to be blocking. <laughs> That's amazing. The Jaguars snap it at the 36. Has Jackson. Jackson's marked down at the 47. When you play this uh, cover three defense, just kind of sit back there and try not to give up the big play. That is great. The problem is, you give up all these short plays. How about that throw by the quarterback on that slant pattern that time? And Matthews has got it on the handoff. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. An extra tight end on the field for this one. The pass fails to find the mark. After the incomplete pass, it's third down. 
Jackson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Catch made. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Double tight end formation. He's got the catch. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator. Fourth down try. He makes the right call, and they pick up the first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Blackman, a receiver in the slot. And the give to Ryan Matthews. The Carroll takes him down. Second down here after that run play. No huddle time. Makes the reception. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. First down here after the completion. The Seahawks go with the dime formation here on defense. They're going to run it on the toss. Oh, look at this. Is brought down. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. They're going to the hurry. Here's another handoff. He breaks the plane. It's amazing the Jaguars scored a touchdown. Ah, oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first to go and you score. Now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if he gets the third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run, nice touchdown. It would have been nice if I didn't spot the 28 points. <laughs> and they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Seahawks offense ready now to see what it can do. Avant's lined up in the slot. First down at the 18 throws the pass that catch gives them a first down Wilson selling this play big time the defense they go for the run fake and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion good job they're going to the hurry up offense and they're back to the line quickly going deep almost intercepted there are a lot of ways to attack cover too you can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. And Ingram's in the backfield, single back set. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I'll take it though. <laughs> Third down here, offense trying to pick up the first. Avant's gonna get set in the slot for this snap. Good oh! The guy jumped the route and just missed it. <laughs> the offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Hurry up. Two-minute offense. Going for the deep ball, but it falls incomplete. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Second and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. And incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football falls incomplete. The Jaguars come out in a dime package. Takes it from the strong eye. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Seahawks call a timeout. Their first. 52 uh, time out. <laughs> coming up. Oh, he missed. That one. I think it was a risky decision to send him out there and kick this long field goal. They miss it, and look what they've done. They've given the other team's offense very good field position. Shorts in the slot. First down at the 42. Brings it into his body. And that's
that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards Number short five. of the Number first down the marker empty backfield look for Bortles here second and two Find shorts he's tackled right at the 36 the Jaguars will use a timeout here they'll talk it over before running a play on first down Robinson's lined up now as a slot receiver first and ten looks to his left Olsen's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it the Jaguars have to take their final timeout that's it Bortles set everybody emptied out for this snap now first and ten you get it oh the secondary credit in this passing league now, oh, I thought I had it. Plays, this was a good a play there here. and another incomplete <laughs> pass. He'll try this one from 35. The kick is good. That does it for the first half. Jaguars trail in this. Oh, that's right. I fumbled the opening kickoff, so I don't even get the ball here in the second half. That's disappointing. He'll have a chance to take off. Hey, was that block in the back? My kicker got mauled. <laughs> position on that return. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking. The speed of the returner gets down the field. And after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. Quick drop back. Launching it deep. Well, it was a matter of time before he got that one. For the touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. The Jaguars are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. Short's going to run this one out. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. First down coming up. Jackson's a receiver in the slot. Matthew. And wait in on the tackle. Second down coming up. They get set quickly, ready for another snap. Just a quick drop back. The Jaguars now move the chains. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. He's taken down at the 35. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Oh, Adam too. Just ate it up there too long. We've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. The defense comes out of the dime. And it's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. What, was that a false start? Oh, come on. He was on. It was encroachment. Even with your bad eyes. Clearly that was encroachment. You see that he moved before the snap of the ball. They're going to go for it here on fourth and six. The Jaguars will take the snap from the 35. Oh, come on. 
Hold on to the football. When you're a gambling football team, you're willing to go for it on fourth down, even though you're losing in the second half and you don't get it. You just got to deal with a little bit of adversity and hope your defense can go out there and stop the other team's offense. Russell Wilson has it under center. He'll go ground. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. So bad when like, again, you, run, you run to the same side the that you have a run blitz on, and they still somehow. All day long. Can, they, can they bow their necks a little and show a little toughness? And maybe stop him this time. First down at the 17. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. In zone bound, and he's got the touchdown. That was a good job on that touchdown that time. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. Add the extra point, the kick is good. The Jags are ready to return the kick. Short's got a chance for a return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down, offense readying for the snap. Short's lined up in the slot. To the ground, Matthews up the middle. And Matthews is brought down. They're going to the hurry up, back to the line. Second down and seven. Got the completion. Jackson's tackled down after a gain of 12. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do is just keep picking up those first downs. Fumble. This one's and of course he fumbles, because why wouldn't my guys fumble? Well, that's what you call a takeaway. Uh, that time this is beyond is stupid at this point. Carry is so hard that he had to give the football up, and they lose it. They come to the line, and it's first down. Mark Ingram carries the football. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. The Seahawks snap it at the 36. Strong eye handoff here. After that last run, it sets up third and six. Offense lines up here. Gets the handle here. Outside to the right. This will be a field goal attempt from 53 yards out. No good, no good. So they opt to go for the long. It's good thing this isn't a field goal game. Early in this game, and with the missed kick, they give their opponent some great starting field position. Yeah, I thought it was a big risk trying this long field goal here early in the game, and it it could backfire on them. We'll see if the defense can bail them out. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. First down at the 43. And the carry to Ryan Matthews. He'll pick up seven this time. It's now second down. Wasting no time now for this next play. Out of the gun. Good coverage by Harmon that time as the pass goes incomplete. Good job that time by the second. Love when my receivers fall down or stumble. Or they make some <laughs> and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. They've come out in the dime package. Third and three. He'll fire it out to the left. Finds his mark. Going to be a short yardage situation, so forget the punt. They're going to go for it. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Portals back in shotgun formation. Justin Blackman with a nice catch there on a ball that had a lot on it. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. They're in the hurry up mode. Portals got it in the gun. As his man tackled down at the 22. They connect on that pass play, but it's still third down. Short is going to get set in the slot for the snap. Portals going to take it from the gun. Wow. 
Amazing. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback size. They got in position, and they made the interception. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Coleman is going to receive the toss. And that's a gain of 10. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Offense lines up here. Trying to beat the play clock. Running it like it's an option play. And a gain of four. All right, coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big lead here in the second half. Don't take any chances. The quarter is about to end. One more play first. Offense lines up here. The Seahawks offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Hightower is going to make the tackle. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. This will be second down. The defense comes out of the nickel. He's going to get another carry. Met by Cofield that time. Third down now. Ingram lines up in the backfield. Another handoff right back to him. The Seahawks call on the punting team. Thankfully, Jeremy is having mercy on my soul and not running up the score because he could probably have about 100 points. <laughs> What is this guy doing? <laughs> Look at my offense is still gassed. They head to the line. Empty backfield look for Bortles here. Screen has his man. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, but you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. First down at the 29. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That's a gain of eight. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Second down and two. Forced to the ground. Well, that time the quarterback didn't hold the football. The left side of the line just, they just collapse. He doesn't even feel it or see it, and he goes down for the sack. Third and 12. Incomplete. Nice throw. That's a beautiful pass. Situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. We'll see what he can do here. That's a gain of 10. Are you serious? He's just going to punt the ball back to me? <laughs> and it'll be Colquitt back to punt. Let's see what he can do here. Brought down after a gain of six. 
the Jaguars break huddle and start their drive this time from the 25. Shorts in the slot. Here we go. The Jaguars will take the snap from the 25. Has Olsen. That picks up seven. That's a good job by the quarterback. He read the defense. Nothing open deep, so he throws it short, and it puts him in great position for a second down play call. He'll take the snap from the gun. And yeah, why would you catch the pass? No need to do that. When you see a receiver drop a pass, it does go through the quarterback's mind. Well, he's a good player, and I want to keep his confidence level up, and I want to keep him into the game. So when you get a chance, you throw him another football so he can make that catch and get right back in with it. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do is just keep picking up those first downs. We hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game. So bad. These guys are so terrible. <laughs> That's second down coming up. The Jaguars come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Brings it in. Robinson's brought down after picking up six on this play. Time for the hurry up offense. Third down and four. Oh my god, Olsen is so bad. Oh, it's not even Olsen that time. Was it Olsen? Good, he's hurt if it's him. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the backup. Oh boy. The offense still on the field here on fourth down. Needing four to stay on the field. Lee's lined up now as a slot receiver. The Jaguars will take the snap from the 45. And he hauls it in. Vaccaro on the tackle. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half. And you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a oh. score later. <laughs> Way to hang your receiver out to dry there, Portals. Good job by the hey, offense. broken ribs. The red awesome. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Welkers, a receiver in the slot. Portal's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Welker. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. Portals standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. On defense, when you're defensive field back, down 32. So about timing. That time he times it perfect, and he jumps up and knocks the ball down. Going for it on fourth down. Shorts lined up in the slot. Hey, 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 hey. Go, go. From the shotgun. Looking across the middle. And that's a gain of maybe five. Hard to throw hey, the hey, football hey, down hey. the field once you get in the red zone. That time the quarterback, well, he knows that. And he looks down there. Nobody open deep. Throws it short. And they get a nice solid pickup on that. Oh, another ball. drop pass. And another injury. Yes, I'm going to kill my entire team in this game. Here we have second down. This has been a long drive so far. From the gun. Throws the pass. Hey, a touchdown. <laughs> Bruce Sternum. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. football, you're getting blown out. Don't give up. The game is never over. Make the other team keep playing. And then we said it. You're getting blown out, but that touchdown is going to get you back in the game, at least mentally. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. 
He's going to give him the ball back again. Oh, you're a good sport, Jeremy. The Seahawks call on the punting team. Looking for a lane on the return. They bring him to the turf. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. First down here. Split backfield here. Portals back in shotgun formation. The money. Robinson's tackled down after a gain of 10. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use the timeout here. Bortles got it in the gun. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. The Jaguars will take the snap from the 25. Olsen's got the catch and the first. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. First down and 10, setting up screen. He has the grab, and that gains a few. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. Dropping back now into the shotgun. He was looking short, but the pass falls incomplete. Totally pushed the wrong button on that one. <laughs> now looking at third down. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Portal's going to take it from the gun. That left side. Okay, so that was to the receiver crossing over the middle. <laughs> They're going to go for it here on fourth and seven. Split backfield here. The Jaguars will take the snap from the 30. Welker makes the catch. Plenty of zip on that throw. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. I don't even know what receiver. I, I don't even think I've ever run past that receiver ever. <laughs> Oliver, who is that? You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look. They pick up positive yards and hope it leads it to a score later. Oh, of course, Bortles can't hit a guy with a step downfield. <laughs> You're going to miss a deep throw down the field. Miss it long. That time the quarterback has the receiver open, but he overthrows it. The Jaguars at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. Bortles going to take the snap from the shotgun. Oh, and he's sacked. the sack. Jim, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That time the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. Trail, they'll go hurry up rather than call a timeout. He's scrambling now, gets rid of it, and sailing out of bounds. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. He's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Vincent Jackson wow. on the deep throw. Can't even go to the end zone from there. <laughs> well, Phil, I enjoyed watching uh, the game with you. And how about a final thought well, that about that victory? Fun, well, you know, I guess. Jim, I wish I could say the same that I enjoyed spending these last three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. They got to feel good about what they've done. Yeah, it's, uh, and, uh, uh, I suppose we'll look at the stats here. I don't know why we want to. Maybe.
Let's see, Bortles, 32 of 58, 289 yards. They had more passing yards than he did. One touchdown, three picks. Six of 11 for Wilson. 169, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Let's see, Matthews had 70 yards, Ingram with 91. Dada Maggot, his ridiculous receiver. 113 on floor catches, three touchdowns. Olsen led the way for me at 54 yards. Let's see, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had ten different receivers catch a pass. That's balance right there. <laughs> Fat lot of good it did me. Alright, so let's get this back to the menu so we can put an end to this fiasco. Alright. So there we go. 42 to 17 defeat at the hands of Jeremy and the Seattle Seahawks, dropping me to 0 and 5 on the season. So, not much else to say there. So let's wrap this up. Uh, once again, if you're interested in joining an online connected franchise for Madden NFL 15, head on over to IonGameCorner.com. The right-hand side of the page, you'll find the link to the Madden 15 page. That'll give you all the info, rules, teams that are taken for both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 leagues. If you're interested in joining the Xbox One league, you want to contact me. My gamer tag is Arethius. You see it right there on your screen underneath the Jaguars logo. You can also reach me via email, IonGameCorner at gmail.com, or on Twitter at IonGameCorner. For the PlayStation 4 League, you want to contact Nick. You can reach him on PlayStation Network. Kagon is his handle there. That's spelled K-A-G-O-N-E. You can also reach him via Twitter at NickOlivera87. So that is going to do it. Thanks for checking this out, and we'll catch you next time for week six of the 2017 season of the Emerald Madden League.